What is the deal, y'all? ZD5 Jew, we are back with another video. I have my boy right here, Jordan. You guys met him a couple videos ago. He has a G37 IPL, actually. There's not really a lot of IPLs out there, but he has one. And um, basically, what we're gonna be doing today, we are gonna be actually fixing not even fixing, just cleaning up his headlights. You can see they're a little bit hazy. This is a pretty easy DIY thing that you can do at home. As long as you have a drill, there's a couple different kits, but the one that we have, you have to use a drill. So I'll show you what we're using and we'll go from there. So the first thing you wanna do before I show you what kit we ended up buying, you wanna go ahead and mask off your headlights just because like sometimes the compounds can be kind of aggressive. So if it gets on the paint, it could potentially damage it. So once we fully mask it off, I'll show you what we got for the kit. All right, so as I mentioned, there's a couple different kits that you can buy. This one is the one that my friend ended up choosing. It comes in like a box like that. It's gonna have the compound, the rubbing compound, and then all your different sanding stages. So it looks like we have 500 grit, 800 grit, 3000 grit, and then we have the polishing pad. And then this is the little piece that came with the kit as well that all of these things would just attach to. Also wanna make sure you have a bottle of water just so you're not dry sanding the headlights because that can be really damaging, you know, as far as sanding too much. Yeah, we have everything here. So once we start sanding, I'll go ahead and explain what you wanna do first. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our 500 grit and uh, stick that to the pad. Just be careful of what side you put it on because it only goes on one side. And before this clip, I put it on the wrong side. Go ahead and stick it on there. That'll stick on there. So I'm gonna give this to my boy. Yep. And then what we're gonna do, we're basically just gonna come over to the headlight and we're gonna use some water. Just kind of spray it all on there. Just get it really wet. And then we'll just sand it down till it's nice and smooth. And then we'll go down or up in the grit, excuse me. All right, so we're finished with 500 grit, so it's gonna look like that. We'll go ahead and wipe it off. The next thing that we're gonna do, we'll just go ahead and basically just go in order. So we'll do 800 until it feels smooth, 3000 until it feels smooth, and then after that, for this kit, you put the compound on there and then you actually just put the compound uh, on the headlight. So I'll show you the finished product. Gonna go ahead and get right to it since it is starting to get dark. So just finishing up, it's kind of the end result here. I'm trying to do it to where you guys can kind of see it super super clear obviously the car needs to be washed now but yeah that's why you want to mask off just because it kind of splatters everywhere but compared to before this is like crazy like night and day well, my boy's stoked for this i'm happy for him it's gonna he be looking it. clean <laughs> it's gonna be clean during the day yes, you'll see it tomorrow you can be like what that's my car that's what i'm saying bro like it's gonna be a whole nother car man <laughs> Got too much stuff. Baby, you give me I wish I was on my way back with you. Yeah, <laughs> wow. some kind of butterfly. What is the deal, y'all? We are finally back in the garage with the 2JZ. Right now what I'm about to get into, I'm actually about to cut this pipe right here. This is actually the factory coolant pipe that would technically bring coolant from the uh, water neck all the way around to the heater core as well as going to the factory oil cooler. But since we no longer have the factory oil cooler, we're actually running a sandwich plate right here. You know that we're gonna be like remotely mounting our oil cooler. We actually need to go ahead and chop it right here. I will be keeping heat in the car, so I do wanna bring coolant and then run a coolant line to the fitting on the car so we can have heat. But as far as everything else, we don't have the oil cooler. We don't have any of the other stuff that this needs as far as the vacuum lines or any of that stuff. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and chop it right here. And then I'll get it ready to take to my boy to go ahead and have that hole welded up. And we should be good to go as far as this little pipe right here. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and cut the pipe. So this is the part I'm not gonna be using. And this is the pipe that I am gonna be using. I just need to go ahead and get that hole welded up. 
and I can go ahead and throw it back on the Jay-Z and uh, that'll be done. I'm not sure if you guys remember when I was talking about for my turbo drain, I had like a super long fitting. So this is actually gonna be the fitting right here. It's like really, really long and it just kind of, it doesn't touch the manifold at all, but I thought this would be like the perfect angle for it. But I just think that this is gonna be a problem maybe in the future. So I really want this thing to be straight up and down. So I want my feet to be right here. So that's really the point of why I went ahead and bought a smaller one. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that, put that on, as well as putting the top one on with my fitting uh, from Vibrant, which should be over here somewhere in this pile of parts. So I'll show you the finished product once I'm done and then you guys can kind of tell me, but let me know if you think that this would have been a problem because I know you can run turbos, you know, at some slight of an angle, but I just didn't know this might be too much of an angle, you know, for like the feed and, and the drain not being like officially straight down. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But you guys let me know in the comments below how you think that that would work out. So unfortunately for the oil drain, I'm gonna have to stop here. There's no gasket on the turbo. I thought I had a gasket in between there. Turns out this oil drain, you can see how long this thing is. It actually had an oil uh, gasket in here. So there's like a little O-ring in there to keep it sealed up. This one doesn't have that. So I need to go ahead and order one just to go ahead and put in between there. So make sure there's no leak. So I'm gonna refrain from putting that on, but you guys kind of get the idea now of like how big this one is. You know, here's a comparison side by side. So I'm gonna try to run this one. So that way when I run that, I can run this housing pretty much straight up and down. So my oil feed will be right here at the top and then the oil drain will just go straight down and um, you know, I'll just angle it out as far as the, uh, the hose. That's the plan. Again, guys, let me know in the comments below if you think that running this one is okay with the little slight angle that we may have. But just from what I've been told and stuff like that, that's, this is just the best option just to run it straight up and down. So we'll see. So if you guys remember from a couple videos ago, we tried to install the rear main seal and we ended up pushing it in too far here at the bottom. So what I have here today, I have a new rear main seal. Here's the part number for all my homies out there. We're gonna go ahead and try to get this installed the correct way. So for the rear main seal on the 2JZ, it doesn't go in all the way. It actually just goes on the outside of it. See if I can show you that right now. Okay, so that looks a lot better. So I'll try to see if I can put a clip from the last time we put this thing in, but yeah, it is fully seated and it's not in too, too far. So I think that's perfect. There's a little bit of a lip all the way around, but I think that is a okay really quick i want to show you these two fittings right here that i ordered i ordered it from this company called gk tech you might have heard of them for like drifting i think they make some angle stuff for s13s uh, 350z 370z stuff like that they actually i actually bought some fittings from them right here um, these are going to be the power steering fittings because as you guys know for the 370 we'll come over here into the engine bay with no engine this is gonna be your steering rack right here. So this, this long piece right along here. And basically behind these two fittings right here, there's gonna be, uh, there should be two fittings along here. But since we are no longer running the VQ, and we have the Jay-Z, which the power steering lines are actually on the driver's side of the engine here, and as well as the chassis, as opposed to the VQ, where all of the power steering stuff kind of runs along to the passenger side. So I had to remove all of that stuff and in order for me to just run a custom line, I needed to buy these fittings right here. So when I grab one of these fittings, I'll go ahead and grab the biggest one right here. Uh, it comes with a little gasket. You just wanna make sure you put your gasket on at the end. And basically, it's just, just gonna thread right in, um, just like so. So do the same to the other one right here. And pretty much this will allow me to run an A in line from here all the way up to my power steering right here where this little fitting is right there and then as well as to the actual reservoir which i do not have a power steering reservoir as of yet i'm still kind of looking for that i don't want to really buy anything right now just because again i'm kind of limited on space so i want to get everything i can done as of right now put the engine back in then once the engine is in for the final and last time then i can kind of see what type of space that i'm working with but for now this will do so let's go ahead and grab our last little fitting here and then we're just gonna thread that in like so and then i'll go ahead and uh, tighten those down so that's basically that and uh this is kind of how it'll look so 
it will have some nice nice lines just kind of running along here so it'll be really sick and um yeah really sleek setup so shout out to gk tech not a sponsored video actually just for reference here i actually found uh, one of the stock fittings that was on the power steering rack right there. This is kind of what it looks like, you know, it prevents you basically from running an A in line. You have to run like a hose and, you know, with the setup this extreme, you know, we definitely just want to be running some A in lines and just have a nice clean setup. So this is no longer needed. And again, I already showed you what that looked like, but this is the uh, end result right there. So super clean, super sleek, and that's done besides the making the lines.